<laughs> this is actually moving. We'll wait for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're taking a video? How we yep. get ready for a video? Yeah. <laughs> we pose. We pose. We pose. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick overview of the museum. We have three different departments. The flight zone, which is where you're going to go to start off with, and then we'll, and when you're done up there, we'll come down and do the exhibit hall, which mm -hmm. is all of the artifacts in here, which are in here. Well, Colin Warren, just to see the door. Lock the door. How many? Extremely sensitive, and so is the pitch control. Okay. And the way you want it to, you stop moving the rudder and wait for it to get in the direction you want, and then you slowly release the pitch. So everything is slow. <laughs> like driving on the freeway, yeah. you don't go like this to turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's when your fingers hit control. You can see where you are. See your climbing. Right? That's your elevation. That's your airspeed. <laughs> you know that's hard to see. We go to heads up display. It's a little easier. You're at 740 feet. You're going to 87 knots. It's the San Mateo Bridge right in front of you. We can't land on. Oh, that long bridge. Oh, okay. No, that's pretty hard to do that in a thick fog. Okay. Put you in nighttime too. Okay. So yeah. Put you in the rain? Okay. No. I want to go nighttime. Okay. Hey guys, come here. driving your car at 120 miles an hour yeah, and, and I'm not going to be going rrr, 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 rrr. Yeah, yeah. It, it's gentle it, it's not a video game where you, it's digital it's analog yes <laughs> all right now let's do it pull pull that's it keep pulling hold it right there that that's too vertical oh, keep pulling okay. keep pulling and then we're coming down around went to vertical again and um, there we go. We, we gained a little bit of altitude, but that's all right. All right. Here's the Golden Gate Bridge. And like all student pilots, I'm busy taking using my phone <laughs> instead, of, <laughs> instead of watching what I'm supposed to be doing. real pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
The purple line is our 3D path that we just did. Oh, wow. Come down the runway, get the nose up a little bit, then one, two, three, four, oh my God. five, six, seven, eight. That's called an eight point roll, aileron roll. There it goes. to get under the bridge. <laughs> okay, that was all the missiles. <laughs> well, you can even, not only can you fly, but you don't have to be necessarily in the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the Bay Bridge. Uh huh. And the old one's still there. Yeah. Uh, there's Alameda. And that's a closed runway. See the yellow X's on it? Mm hmm. That says don't land there. Oh. Because if you land there, the Navy will come out and arrest you and make you truck your airplane off to an airport. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, military people get kind of upset if you land on a civilian airplane on a, their runway without permission, especially one that's closed. You have no idea what shape the runway is in. Let's go someplace a little more interesting. Um, we'll go to KLGA. You want to go to LaGuardia? LaGuardia? I've landed in LaGuardia. Okay. Yeah. Confirm. And... <laughs> it was cool, though, on the approach, they'd fly over Manhattan. And so you'd go past all the big, you know, the skyscrapers and stuff. And it's like just out the window. It was mm -hmm. amazing. I want to do that again. So we're going to fly over Manhattan. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Illegally. <laughs> <laughs> Flying a fighter over Manhattan. So we'll get the gear. Maybe flaps a little bit. We'll see if I can do a touch and go. And I'm going to do it from this point of view. So is that LaGuardia? Yes. This is runway uh, 31. So it's toward the west. Wave to Carol. I think you probably normally use uh, runway zero four, or maybe one three if you're coming around over Manhattan. Yep. Okay. So. So is LaGuardia, is it in New York proper, or is it in Long Island? It's Queens. It's, it's in Queens. Long Island. It's in Queens. Oh, okay. Which is... Uh, JFK is out. Yeah, JFK is out a little further. Okay, and... Here and flaps up and everything. All right, that was a touch and go. And as you can see, we got a little scenery glitch. Those mm -hmm. tanks are floating about 50 <laughs> feet in the air. That's probably because the air is um, 
2085. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, here's uh, Central Park. Yay! Uh, we're going to make a turn around here. There you can see Central. I did not know that the the pond was that big. Oh really? Yeah. I was born. I was ten York. years old when I saw it. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. There's a <clears throat> cruise ship in front of us. Oh, what cruise ship is it? No. Oh wait a minute. No, it isn't there. Ah. Shoot. Is that San Diego? It disappeared. Huh. On me. Oh, okay. I've got the Titanic, but for some reason it disappeared in here. Seventy years late, I got the Titanic to New York City. Okay, there's the new Freedom Tower. Oh, they finished it already? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's been open. Oh, crap. We're going to go through the center? Uh, no, we're going to go right through here. Oh, my God. And um, because what I want to show you oh. is, see the reflecting pools? That's where the oh, twin towers yeah. were. Uh, anyway, oh wow! I didn't do that real well, but and that's a reflection in the. So there's, and it has an interesting shape uh -huh. uh, for strength and uh, wind deflection. It, instead of a big flat surface, it's, it's more like it's rounded. Oh, and that one has like the mirrored surface so you can see the clouds on it. Yes. At wow. Least, at least in this program. And then I have the kids come fly by the Statue of Liberty. Ooh. But I tell them, out of respect, we're not going to hit her. Not her arm. Actually, in the program, we can't fly. We fly right through her. The flight model does not recognize buildings. Uh, and there's Newark mm -hmm. in New Jersey. So, oh, thank you. Because we want to see Big Ben, which is right over here. Yeah, right. So we're gonna go right by Big Ben. Now look at the clock hands. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. We can change the time on the clock. <laughs> oh, there's the London Eye. And there's the London Eye. So, cool. And, you know, I think each one of these gondolas can hold about 15 people. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's a big. I've seen it. I just haven't gotten on it. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, did you want to fly around a little bit? Oh, sure. Why not? And we have a minute. Sure. And London builds interesting shaped buildings, including the spire here. Yeah. And the London Bridge is right down there. Oh, yes. So, and we actually can fly between them. But every once in a while, the, the roadway opens up. Oh, yes, yes. All right, here's the uh, Olympic Stadium, the open one. And the closed vomit. one was over there. Vomit, David, vomit. Vomit, nice. Isn't he flying a bomb? Mm-hmm. Well, he can vomit then. <laughs> Hit the space bar. <laughs> Um, yeah, we can. 
So, Your Majesty, but you got to get the nose down a little bit to hit something. So, Mario, this is a ten hospital. Yeah, hit that. Whatever that is. Okay, there it goes. Bomb it. Oh. And explosion. Don't hit the building. Yeah. Pull, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh! oh. No, 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 no. Her Majesty is not pleased. Actually stalled it. Did I? Uh oh. Okay. We'll get it flying again. There you go. Oh. 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 Boom. Nice. Good job, You want to slow down the house. Doing a 180 degree turn here. Oh, got it. Right. Pull the trigger right there. There you go. Oh. And you missed. <laughs> so just crash into it. Just cr oh. be a bomb. Okay, what happens when you crash? I don't know. I guess oh no. Oh God. David, how could you? <laughs> David, how insensitive! <laughs> <laughs> I could always land Princess ocean. Charlotte goes to that school. Dang it! Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta go stand in the. And the reason they developed the drone, uh, most helicopters have to have a big tail out there to keep them from sitting and going in the circle. So they developed this. They're counter-rotating uh, rotors on the top, so that they, it doesn't sit there and spin. It's, Engage the, one the effect of the rotation of the other. Uh, so this was just in concept. Uh, we have an airplane out here that has one of these airplane, one of these engines. We'll show you as well. My first operational jet fighter. Remember, I mentioned the airplane, the engine in there that was developed by the British and the Germans at the same time. That was used. That type of engine was used in this airplane. It had 650 caliber guns. It was used in the early days of the uh, of the Korean War. This is hose with a big ba a basket about this big on it. And these people would have to fly up and put that probe in this basket that's about this big. So when you're going along at 250 miles an hour, try that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no kidding. Dropping a bomb, they don't. They jettison the weapon overboard. In some, these are two cartridge liners here. We would put two blank, like blank shotgun shells in these, turn these around and screw them in there. Let's imagine we had one bomb up here. Is that that bomb? And put that, okay, imagine that bomb is hanging right here. All right, the pilot select charge fires those cartridges. Gas pressure opens up these hooks, and gas pressure pushes these, these, uh, they push these down sometimes, the pistons, that was a little sticky on me, push these down and whatever's here is jettisoned away from the aircraft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dinner served. Okay, this airplane was uh, was originally a, uh, a cargo airplane that a four-star general who was the supreme allied commander in Europe after World War II had fixed up to his wife's specifications, needless That's to say. Right. Oh. <laughs> that, that says it all, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, well what they used to do is, they, when you look up here you'll see they have nice roomy tables 
what they would do is they would pick up dignitaries from different countries and they could have a little mini conference on like for say they were going to a NATO conference they also put skis on the uh, wing floats and underneath here so they could land on snow and ice they rescued several people up in the ice cap in Greenland the only thing they couldn't do is they couldn't land on, on mountains of course but they could slow this thing down to about 70 miles an hour and they could throw survival gear out or parachute it out to someone on the ground. And then they would sit there and orbit the area of the, of the people they're trying to rescue. They had a homing beacon on this so the people coming to rescue knew exactly, they could pinpoint their location. Well, if you're on the ground waiting for somebody to rescue you and you, you know somebody's up there that's guiding people in and they can throw food, water, clothing, whatever you need down to you, it's a little more comforting than just being down there by yourself. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Family boarding the plane, a Coast Guard plane. Actually, it's an Air Force airplane, but the Coast Guard did the refurb on it, so we let them put their colors on it. It's actually an Air Force plane? <laughs> right, you'll see it in there. When the Norm's going to stand, he's going to tell you about this picture. You'll see the Air Force airplane as it came in. Well, this, this airplane was on display down in, Me in New Mexico, and our no local Coast Guard unit up here at the Coast Guard hangar as a project for to teach some of their new uh, troops how, how to work how to work on airplanes. But, so, now, the only stipulation, they said, if we fix this up, we'd like to paint it back the Coast Guard colors again, and then we'll put it on display over here. What are we going to say? No? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I would think not. It is a really bad accident because kids yeah. are on the run. They're not supposed to be doing that. And they right. don't stop and they splatter yeah. themselves in the air. And their parents are coming through. You can see here this. <laughs> I thought I heard people running. It couldn't have been you guys. So. No. I don't hear any screaming, but I guess you got away with it. So it's a, a DC story. It's a, it's a, it is a DC-3. Okay. The military advises it becomes a C-53. C-53. The C-47, same airframe, beaker, floorboard, big cargo door. Okay. C-47, in Vietnam, we put miniguns on the port side. It is. Yeah, seats are like a train. It's like a buffet line. Maybe it is because of Oh, my God. <laughs> so there are paratroopers that jumped out of this? This is an Operation Market Garden. It is. A lot of heavy stuff must have gone down here. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sliding so down. I mean, Maybe when I get closer, I'll bust it up. Yeah. Yeah. It has me in my chest a little bit. Yeah. Look at this. Look, look at the angle he's standing. Do it. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, this does a number on your head. Yeah, it does. It, it's it's really weird. Yeah, It was just a cargo airplane, so there's really nothing inside. And the reason we have it is FedEx discontinued using these because they were. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, you can't get them this year. No, I had no, no, I had four bags of them. How? Yeah, I've only met Barry once. There they are, sitting fascinated by their family tree. Eric's dated this for a couple months. Maybe a year, actually. Uh huh. Yeah. And, so, and, and again, the when you were home? leaves here mm -hmm. represent their. That's right. It's exhausting. It's an ordeal. <laughs> yeah, because we, we have this we have this one tree. We, we, we don't believe in, I guess, the real trees. We have artificial trees. We have yeah. a 13 foot tree. And it, it's a, it takes a lot. And I had no idea what project it is. Oh, that's right, right? right? Now, so I'm getting over it. And like, it's usually the okay. that's when we put up our, our decoration. Like, what are we going to put up? I'm like, yes, we're going to do it. So two weeks later, and it took me You were sick, though. Oh, I was still sick. I'm like, dang it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know? Because I've been told him, like, don't worry about it. This right. is going to yeah. small tree out. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Sure, in retrospect, I should have waited. should have said, you know, let's forget about it. And I was like, no, we're going to. He gets stubborn. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, put it up. <laughs> right? I mean, you put it up. It takes sure. a couple days. You know, a couple days. Yeah, alternate <laughs> facts. Get the box out. You know, that's one thing. Yeah. Not long ago. I had a bike in my house. A while ago. My different.